Printify tutorial for beginners. How to use Printify. Learn how to create your own awesome design with Printify and increase your sales in just minutes. So first things first, Printify and you're going to sign up. Just want to clarify that it is free, but there is also a pricing plan. And so let me just show you. As you can see, there are three pricing plans, the premium and the enterprise. The free, as you can see, it's free. You can open up to five stores per account. You have unlimited product design. But if you go with the premium version, you will have to pay $24.99 or $25, who's counting, per month. You will have 10 stores per account unlimited products and up to 20% discount on all products which is a pretty good deal but I would recommend you only use this plans once you have sales coming in and people buying your products you're starting to make a profit then you can go ahead and purchase a premium plan for now you can go with the free plan just simply click on start for free and sign up this is how it looks like this is going to be your dashboard you're going to have your trending products over here even their blog posts and stuff like that are going to be over here on the left hand side you're going to have your main options you have branding store settings wallet orders my products and catalogs printify has a very very diverse form of catalog they have a lot of cool stuff from men's clothing home and living decoration you've got everything so you don't have to worry about that and you can create any product product you want the main thing that you really need to do is just create a design design you can go onto canva or any of their free website and create a design i already have a few designs so i'm going to be using those so you can just come over here onto canva and you have your t-shirt templates right here you can go to browse template and choose whichever template you want right they have now let's go ahead and create a t-shirt design let's go into catalogs or actually go into my product click on browse products and over here we'll choose a product that we want to go ahead and create so you can go ahead and choose a t-shirt a picture frame or phone case or hoodie whatever you want for now we'll just choose a t-shirt and we'll choose the unisex jersey this is the shirt that we're going to be using we're going to add our design to it go ahead and click on start design over here you can also see the price of the design and shipping and stuff like that so this designer right here jazz design this provider or seller he is selling this he's going to be giving this shirt to us for 11.23 and this guy is going to be giving us eight dollars location wise it also depends this one is in poland us you can go ahead and choose whichever one you want it depends on you let's go ahead and just simply select this one for now and this is the canvas right here this is what you guys will be working for you have your tools right here you can go ahead and select your design from either of these from fiverr you can hire a professional designer and he will design a t-shirt for you with a custom logo and a custom design you have your google drive if you already have some designs uploaded on google drive you can import them from there you can even use the ai image generator you have shutterstock where you find stock footages since i already have my design i'm going to go ahead and upload it this is my design right here let's make it a little bit bigger this is for the black version I have a white design so you can go ahead and add it like that and you can switch your views from back to front add a design in the front or back side you can add different designs in the front and the back as well you can also choose different colors as well pick some darker colors the white design would pop it on all of these darker colors so we'll choose this all these colors you can go ahead and select that and i'm going to make a specific design for white the white one we can add our own design as well so i already have that a white design would look like on the black doesn't show so for the this one we'll delete that white design as well so as you can see this is how it looks like you can add more design you can add product variants as well click over here you can add specific variants see i've selected these colors and we're going to select them and keep them what you can do is just simply click on save product printify is actually very simple and straightforward you don't need a lot of intuition there are some settings to do that but we'll save that for a later video for now we're going to keep things simple and show you what you need to do is just add your mock-up these are some of your mock-ups and previews you can add three previews four five or six it depends on you, you and select the main product this is the front image we'll choose that we don't need the back view since there is no design in the back so we'll just remove that and then you can add some of these model images as well you can choose the type image color could be either blue black gray heather navy then you can just simply go ahead and add the product description and the title this shirt you can add what type of shirt it is why it's a good what type of material you use all of that then you can add some tags so as you can see there's already a few tags added perfect then you choose the shipping you can choose the standard shipping which is going to be two to five business days and then you have the express it is in beta but it's only in available in the u.s so keep that in mind then you have the pricing structure and variance as well so you can select the variance you want so let's say we want to have a large medium and small we'll do extra large double xl and triple xl once you've selected them you can edit the prices as well click on edit price over here you can see the profit margin as well for now as you can see the profit margin is 40 percent the red retail price
price for respectively size retail price each of the product respective to their sizes as follows for small $27 so you can go ahead and change that up make it higher or lower it depends on you if we go with let's say $20 our margin is between 18 to 19 percent same thing with this one we go with 20 18 to 90 percent this one 30 so we'll go with 25 our profit margin has been significantly hit gone down so as you can see our profit margin has changed and pricing structure has changed so you can go ahead and do that then you need to publish to publish these products you need to connect it to a store i can publish it but i would need to connect it to a store and i did but i think i currently it's connected to the shopify store you can connect your store by doing this so for now we'll just save it as draft and let me just show you how you can connect to a store so these are the product as you can see unpublished you go into manage my stores as you can see it's connected let me just go ahead and disconnect connecting to a store is actually pretty easy click over my store go to manage my stores you're going to have a list of stores right here then you can go ahead and add new store delete the previous this one or connect it to connect the store all you got to do is simply click on connect choose the store you want to connect to or sales channel you want to connect to so for this instance we can go with shopify you go into your shopify store and you copy the url of your website or your store come back click on connect to shopify add your shopify store link and just simply click on connect wait for a couple of seconds and it'll add the application within your shopify store you can click on install app and once it's installed it'll automatically be connected to your shopify store via your printify store so as you can see boom we're done go back to our store go ahead and select the store go back as you can see it's connected let me refresh it there you go it's connected now let's go into our product this is the product it's currently not published click on it scroll down to the bottom and just simply click on publish and publish your store and that is done that is basically it it will be published right here after a couple of seconds as you can see it's publishing it will upload the images and update the pricing structure and all of that and it'll be done then you have a product right here in your product section and boom you're pretty much good to go you just need to go ahead and manage your store do a little bit of seo and you should be good to go there are more settings as i said before there's more settings right here we'll cover that for another video it's all pretty simple stuff you just need to fill out these forms check out shipping addresses uh order settings and sh shipping profile shipping calculator it depends on you but we'll save that for another video since this would take quite a long time to explain you also have your branding settings over here you can install labels as you can see right here you can add your brand labels right here and they'll automatically be added to your product and also do that that is it for this video guys thank you guys for watching and don't forget to click the like button if you found this video helpful if you want to keep learning with us check out our playlist for print on demand tutorials and make sure to hit that subscribe button to join our community